Good afternoon, this is Jeff with Sewer Tech Northwest. Today we're at 4560 Southwest 198th Avenue here in Aloha. We are located at the back of the house under a hatch here. We've got a 4-inch ABS clean-out. We're going to check the overall condition and serviceability of the sanitary sewer line. Water is running. We are zeroed out. And off we go. And the water should start catching up here in just a moment. Just turn that on. A little bit of standing water right out of the gate there. It's very minor. And we transition over to concrete pipe. That has the appearance of four inch transite concrete. The difference between transite and regular concrete is instead of having aggregate rock in the mix, it has asbestos fibers. Now in general, it's usually a better pipe for rock and it holds up and ages nicer than regular concrete does. You have fewer pipe joints, and as it ages, it remains quite smooth on the inside. It doesn't get all rough and gnarly like regular concrete does. Try and get a different water source turned on here. So here at this pipe joint at 33 feet, you've got a little that joint there does look somewhat exposed. It's hard to tell, but you've also got a stringy item poking out of it. Like you could potentially have a root here. It's so small, it's very hard to tell what that is. There's just one little stringy item. It's kind of the combination, that joint is just a little bit out of whack with that stringy item there that gives the appearance that might be what's going on, but it's, it's, it's hard to discern. Alright, we should see some, starting to get our water flow out here now. Right, line transitions here over to 3034 PVC pipe, also appears to be 4 inch diameter. Back to concrete pipe now. And this is standard aggregate concrete here. You kind of see the difference between the two. Is there anyone else in, inside the house right now? All right, that right there looks like the main lateral connection at about 83 feet. We're going to go locate that really quick here while the line drains out. Yep, that is the main there. All right, we're going to let the line drain. We'll pull back. All righty, located the camera head successfully. Line terminates out on south view. Line, it does a pretty darn straight shot from the clean out access out to the main lateral connection. And I will have to do some reviewing of the video um, at home, even with shades and umbrellas and stuff. The, just the lighting out here is really tough for the eyes to adjust. So I'll, I'll do some reviewing of the video in better lighting.
I've gone through here. I've kind of paused and stopped at some of the joints. I'll, again, I'll have to do some better looking uh, when I've got better lighting conditions. There's a fair amount of joints throughout the line here. I'm seeing some dark standing around the joints. Um, but right now, it's it's hard to get a good view of them. Uh, they Some of them appear like they're exposed to the ground right now. And the current concern with that in the, I guess, the more of in the long run is it can cause hydro erosion and lead to settling over time. And that joint there has got quite a bit of dirt coming through it and looks like roots as well from its appearance right now. The little bit of standing water that precedes it is, is quite minor. That's really not a huge deal. It's a very short-lived section of pipe there with a little bit of standing water in it. At its worst, it might have been a half of an inch of water. The joint just beyond it is a bigger concern. Right now we just turned around, we're going backwards through the foundation wall. And at this point we are well within the house. Everything beyond this point is all exposed piping. That's stuff the, crawl, the home inspector can look at with their eyeballs and they're down the crawl space. All right, we're gonna go ahead and reel the camera out of the line. Other than about one foot or so of the pipe, again, we'll push back out just so I can show this really quick. You now, from about the, actually, I'm going to zero the foot counter back out again. Counted backwards a little different. So I'm basically the zero point to about one and a half, two feet there. At its worst, you're, you've got, my camera right now is, is pulling up out of the, I'm going to make sure it's not in a downward angle right now. You've got about a half inch of standing water there approximately for maybe two feet at its deepest point. That's how much there is. So that's not a belly I would typically on its own recommend to repair on on the standing water alone. There's just not much there. Um, bigger stuff I want to take a look at and better lighting is just is mostly the pipe joints. But it's from a slope and grade standpoint. Nearly the entire line, other than about two feet, has good slope and grade to it, so very little standing water to speak of going on there. From a flow standpoint, the line has, has adequate flow of the main lateral. Um, we'll take a better look, um, and I'll write that up on the report as far as the structural integrity of those joints. I, it's just hard to see them right now with the lighting I've got. 